Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use ClickFunnels click pop feature or function in order to create pop-up opt-in forms on any page for your funnels or on any page where you can add custom code. So this could be like a WordPress website. If you want click pop pop-up opt-in forms on your WordPress website, you could do that as well. So it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first, I'm inside of a funnel and I'm gonna go ahead and add a new step and I'm gonna call it click pop here, click pop. And then I'm gonna do create funnel step. And then I need to select my page type as click pop. So select click pop up here. And then you can go ahead and select your click pop template that you wanna go ahead and use. Or you can of course build one from scratch or customize it any way you want. You'll see it's just like editing any other page in click funnels, use a WYSIWYG editor, drag and drop builder to customize it. So once it generates, we can go ahead and edit the page real quick. And one of the first things you probably want to do is come up here to settings and integrations and you want to go ahead and integrate it with your automation tool. So you'd select your integration, like click funnels, add to list, and then you'd select what list you want to go ahead and integrate your opt-in form with. So if you're with Active Campaign or Aweber or MailChimp or something like that, go ahead and set up that integration and you should see like a connected icon right up here. Now I don't have any automation tools connected to this ClickFunnels account, so it's not gonna be connected, but on yours, you should see connected. Now, also, I wanna point out that you can customize this field if you want to. So if you wanna, you know, collect people's uh, full names as well, so full name, enter your name, we can make it not required. So now we're selecting name and email address, and then we'll collect that contact information. Of course, I can change this title too. So, you know, customize it. It's your opt-in form basically. So do that, integrate it with your automation tool and click pop, go ahead and name it real quick. So once it's all saved and everything, our click pop form is ready to go. So we'll exit back out of here. And then we wanna go to publishing now. So click onto publishing. And we wanna click on get click pop code. So click this option right here. And it pops up this little box here where we can go ahead and get our code and customize it a little bit. So the first thing it says is we can add some link text. Don't do this, okay? I'm gonna show you another way where you can add link text and also make a button click to pop up your opt-in form. So don't fill anything out in this field. If you want to do a time delay, so after you know five seconds, 10 seconds, 300 seconds, it pops up the opt-in form, you could go ahead and set that up right here. So for my example, let's just say I want to wait four seconds and it'll pop up the opt-in form. I could also go ahead and trigger on mouse exit, so exit intent. So if somebody's mouse leaves the, the screen, it'll pop up the opt-in form. So let me go ahead and turn that on as well. And it gives me this snippet of code. So I'm going to grab this snippet of code and I'm going to pop up notepad real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and paste that snippet of code right here in Notepad. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close out of my box here and I'm gonna to go to my order form page and I'm gonna add an opt-in form to my order form page. So we'll come in here, we'll go ahead and edit this page now. And I wanna come in here to settings and tracking code and I wanna to go to footer code and then I'm gonna take my full snippet of code here and I'm gonna paste it in the footer. I'm gonna close it real quick and then I'll hit save and then I'll go ahead and preview my page real quick. So after four seconds, the pop-up opt-in form should pop up. So let's see, and it looks like it's loading. Here we go, change this title. And so here we go, there's my opt-in form. Let me close out of it. Now exit intent, if I take my cursor off, it should pop up and we see it popping up here. So it looks like the delay works as well as the exit intent works. So awesome, seems to be working so far. Now, if I wanna, have a link or a button pop up my opt-in form. We'll do that now. So let's say a text link. Let's go ahead and, well, what we wanna do is go in here and we wanna grab our the link to our form. So we'll grab this link right here. And so just, just the link like this, no special code around it or anything like that. So put that over there. And now, you know, select the text you want. We'll click the link button delete this pound or hashtag sign out of there and just paste your link right there. So now we have a link and let's make this button pop up our opt-in form as well. So click on that, we'll do set action. We'll go to website URL, paste in that same link right there and keep it in the same window. That's good. And we'll hit save now. 
and then we'll preview our page again and wait for it to load real quick and after four seconds of being on this page it should pop up my form and we see it popping up right here cool that worked exit intent yep that still works cool if I scroll down here and click on my text link it should pop up my opt-in form and we see it popping up here awesome and finally my button here so it popped up as well so and people can click these buttons as many times as they want and it'll keep popping up the, the opt-in form or same concept with the text link so that's how you go ahead and install it on your ClickFunnels pages. Now, if you wanted to do it on WordPress, for example, uh, I'm in my WordPress website and I'm on a page that I'm editing. And let me throw my snippet of code right here. So there's my, my snippet of code. And if I wanted to have a link, this I'll do a, a href. So I'm doing a little bit of manual coding here. So let me copy my link now and Let's fin wrap this up, pop up form. And I didn't spell up, op right, I spelled op. I can't type and think at the same time and talk and uh. So let me go ahead and update this page real quick. And we'll go ahead and then check it out and see if it works. So I should have a delayed uh, opt-in form after four seconds. Boom, popped up here. And it, it does get a little funky here on my WordPress website because I guess I'm using some sort of divs and stuff. So that's one thing to be a little mindful of. Like it might not play as nicely on you know a WordPress website as it would on like on, on a ClickFunnels page. So it's a little funky looking here uh, in my case. Now if I get out of it and exit intent and it popped up with exit intent as well. And then if I click this link here, it also pops up. So same concept as installing it on the ClickFunnels page as it is installing it on a WordPress site. Basically, if you if you have the code, you want the, the full snippet here at the bottom of the page uh, on, for example, you know, this is lower than the link. So below your link or your content, right? Just like I installed it on my ClickFunnels, I installed the, the full snippet in my footer code area, right? So the full snippet was there. So in the footer of my website and then my links and everything were are above that footer. Same concept here on the WordPress website. So as long as you keep that fact true, the, the big snippet is below your text or your link code, then you know all will be right. So just keep that in mind and hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.